Hey Jules Bliss Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So we're in the middle of self-care September and today is day 27. It doesn't matter if you've joined us before this is a perfect time to show some self-care but I do have 30 days of great intentions if you want to cruise back through the videos or simply stay for us for the next couple of days. So for today the intention was to take your time to make space just to breathe and be still. I absolutely did not do that. <laughs> but hey, the night is still young, right? <laughs> yeah, it was my husband's birthday. I made it all about him. Um, I decided we could do whatever he wanted to do and what he wanted to do was run all over Tarnation, uh, if that's a phrase that people even remember. And we most certainly did that and uh, there was no downtime, and that's okay. You know, a lot of things are just good intentions. Um, I may not be there yet, but I know that when I want to care for myself, I can consider some of these. All right, so number 28, or day 28 for tomorrow, I would try and be a day ahead, is accept your mistakes as a way of helping you make progress. Let's say that again. Accept your mistakes as a way of helping you make progress progress. And I saw a really interesting talk um, yesterday, and it was about somebody who was talking about the importance of failing your way to the top. Like people who have made it to the top, meaning those who have actually earned the position <laughs> and weren't just placed there by daddy warbucks, but people who've actually earned their way to the top were people who were totally willing to make mistakes. They were willing to fail again and again and again until, so let's say each time you fail, you fall back a little, right? This is like tripping your way to success. So you make it a little and you must certainly fall back. But what you did not return to continues to build on itself. So eventually, if you dare to take the risk, you will fail enough times to where when you finally fall, the list of attempts is so high that you made it. You absolutely made it. I love that idea. So that's what it is for tomorrow. Accept your way. I'm sorry. Accept your mistakes as a way of helping you make progress. One moment, please. Okay. So yeah, there was this great video by Brooke Castillo of the Life Coach School. And I've mentioned Brooke many times because she was the one who introduced me to the urge jar. And one brilliant thing she said was, as you're pursuing your dream, there's going to be discomfort. And she said, discomfort is the currency that you have to pay. <laughs> she loved that. Discomfort is the currency you're going to pay in getting to whatever that dream is. And, and I just love that. So she just said, you know, if she could teach you anything, it would be the willingness to fail um, because she feels like, those who fail, but continue to strive, ultimately, you know, they get to the end game. And that that's the difference. I, I don't know if you know for Castillo, I'm going to include this um, in the description of the video. It's called Make Your Idea a Reality. But she literally decided she was going to be a life coach. And her first goal was to make like, I don't know, $100,000, let's say. And then um, the following year, it was like a million. I mean, why not, right? And then it was two million. And all of a sudden, she was at $15 million for a year. I'm not kidding you. And uh, she has a gazillion podcasts, and they're all completely free to listen to. And then she has the Life Coach School, which is just brilliant. Um, I can't commit, <laughs> not just because of the money, but because I am just not there. I can't explain it. I am a person who has to have creativity in my life. And there's no doubt as a teacher of middle schoolers, I'm called to have energy, be creative, etc. But I know that there's a huge deficit within myself. Like I wanted to do Jules Plus Vegan so I could express my creative self, but I haven't found my path with it yet. Maybe it's the confusion of having not only Jules, which is me, then being blessed, which of course is my faith life, and then being vegan, for which I'm still finding my way. Maybe it's too many topics, I don't know. But there's something just desperately calling within me. And I think, depending on which part of myself I'm giving energy to, the one that is afraid to fail holds me back. 
right? That inner child uh, who doesn't want to be criticized, who doesn't want to be considered a loser. I don't even know what the game is, but I do know that one of me is desperately seeking more than what I have right now. And sadly, the other part of me is stronger because I'm not getting there. It's holding me back. And that's okay. You know, I'm okay with that right now because there's a lot of changes in my life and it's okay uh, that I don't get overwhelmed um, with extracurricular, if you will, while I'm trying to just get the stability. You know, there's a lot of things I've been successful in. I haven't had a drink in 28 years. I haven't played with pills or been a pill gourmet for almost 30 years, like seriously. Um, I've been clean for a really long time in those areas. Granted, I replaced it with binging and sugar uh, and just the nonsense of food and anesthetizing myself with food and all those things. But for the last two years, absolutely. I was clean at different times, there's no doubt, in all those years. I lost weight, but a lot of it was gimmick. Um, obviously, being vegan and plant-based be vegan and a raw vegan in particular, there's no room for games, right? I mean, you're either totally on or you're not. I mean, I could be a junk food vegan if I want and eat a bunch of processed nonsense, but I don't feel called to that. Um, so I was going through my journal and I was seeing that I, what I refer to as falter or flounder about an average of four times a month, right? Four times a month. So that would be 50 out of 365 days, right? It's not terrible. I'd like to improve it, <laughs> but it's not terrible, especially when, you know, just two years ago, I didn't even have an awareness that there was a better way, you know? Um, so anyway, I think as I'm continuing to get my stability there, because that like wearing me as Invisalign, there's a total intimacy about it. It affects how I speak. I feel it in my mouth all the time. Um, even in my sleep, I'm pushing down on them. I'm playing with them. There's this chronic awareness. Well, it's the same thing with my food. Um, you know, I come from a compulsive overeating background. I come from a food addict and sugar addict mentality. I'm not an addict when I'm not actively participating in those things, right? I'm an alcoholic when I drink. I don't drink. I'm a pill addict when I have pills. I don't do any medication of any kind. I'm a sugar addict when I'm actively engaged in sugar. If I'm not, I'm not. Like, it's really interesting, but the mindset doesn't change that much. So for me, something as intimate as food, which I'm required to address several times a day, you know, brings up stuff for me. Obviously, um, I'm not around alcohol. I don't have to worry about it. I'm not around pills. I don't have to worry about it. I'm around food all the time. And that's okay if it's going to take me a little longer to focus on the stability of that rather than these other objectives that I'm hoping for in time. So anyway, I didn't expect it to go in that direction, but I just wanted to say um, this one by Brooke Castillo really uh, touched me because she was just saying how willing are you to fail? And will you fail your way to where you need to go? You know, because those people at the top inevitably have failed many, many times. I think about the whole analogy of a baby, right? And how they've literally fallen 10,000 times before they successfully walk. And most likely nobody said, hey, don't bother. You know, don't ever get up. It's, it's not worth it. Don't ever walk. You know, it's the same thing. Yes, I continue to falter with my food, barely, compared to what it was, barely. Um, but is it is it okay? Am I going to say, fine, forget it? A lot of people do, right? A lot of people do. They just say this vegan thing's too hard, this plant-based thing's too hard, this raw thing is too hard. Um, nobody agrees with me anyway, I'm just going to go back and eat the way I was eating. People do it. They do it every day. That's not my story, right? <laughs> All right. So that's it, my friends. I'm going to fail my way to the top. But anyway, like if you like, join us if you haven't. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how I may support you. Sorry, my background's still boring. We'll get there. <laughs> but just focus on this hotness, all right? And until we talk again, best of all, know that you're blessed.